Uh, today is your boy. Uh, today is your boy. <laughs> What's up, guys? Today it's your boy, Materialistic. And today, um, I'm gonna show you how to create a professional background. Um, this is part one. I will be uploading part two and part three, um, throughout the week. But um, first, let's be getting on um the way I like to do backgrounds. How to start off. First, what I like to do is uh, let's just show you the effects that I add on to the template. The only thing I do is add a stroke. I add a white stroke like that. Then I turn it down to one, turn the opacity down to about 35, 40. One of those. Well, if you do that right, you should have a nice looking template. Now, some people like AOL designs. Let me show you. They had this little thing right there and that little thing and you can see it all that, all that, all that. Yeah. Well if you want to know how to do that, only thing I do is paint right. I'm gonna show you. You get the paint. Make it about like that much softness. Make it about dark gray. And then you want to do is shade right there one time. Then you hold Alt. On my Mac is Command, but on your um, Windows should be Control G. Now what you want to do is, if you want to leave that up top, you can, but I'm gonna erase it. All right, all right. So then you got that. What you want to do is turn up opacity now. And you should get something like that. Like that little tent looking shade. You should get that little shade there. And then, I already got it there, so I'm going to delete it. So then, what you want to do is add a in the shadow. Add an in the shadow. Like that. You want to take this down about zero. Choke up to about five or six size, not too deep. Put then it look like that. You just want to add the size to about like that, to about one. Turn that down to about two. Turn the positive. Yeah, there it is right there. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. You should get that right there. Looking good template. Next thing you want to do is go to the background right here. Click that, hold it, click the pattern. Now, uh, if you don't know how to get the scan lines, I can show you. Or you can go to Melkov BG Tutorial, and he'll teach you. Now, what you want to do is turn this opacity down, 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 down. Matter of fact, you can lead us up to 100. Because I'm about to show you something. What you want to do is leave that up there. You rasterize it. Pow. Turn it down, down, down. That much right there. Then you good like that. You see that? You see that? It's sexy. It look, it look good. All right. Rest. Up, hold up. No, no. That's good. Look at it. All right. Every guy like that. A lot of people like to do this, so I'm going to show you. Yeah. What you want to do is click right there on top of the template. Make sure you take a picture of your background. What you do is make sure you take a picture of your background and then cut it out and lay it over top of the template where your picture is on your channel. So you won't have the box too high or covering the text or the text covering the boxes. So. What you want to do is make a box. You don't want it. You want to be black, black, black. And press enter. Drag that box over right there, right there. Make sure it's in the center. Rasterize it. Click it like that. Add some bevel. Now we can add the bevel. Want to turn that white. All the way up, then you want to turn that all the way down. You can turn that white all the way up, 
that be all the way down when that's all the way up. I know I don't make no sense, but I don't care. So then you want to make stroke, change that to white, turn that opacity down. It's right there. Actually, I like when that's on both sides, so let's try to get it on both sides of the bed. Like that. Like it, like that. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, 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 alright. Matter of fact, let's just leave it like that. Alright. Boom. That's down to 75. What was that? Alright. Like that. Boom. Alright. We're good. We're good. And I actually think I got a style. I think it's right there. Oh, man. I think it's right here. Oh, man. Alright, let's just leave it like that. Alright. I zoom in on this. Alright, check it out. Look at it. It's looking good. Looking good. Nice little little taste to it. So now what you want to do is create a new layer. Go all the way over here again. Now, I'm going to make sure this is clipped to that. Now you want to do is just go in the middle of it. Boom. Like that. See that? Turned out sexy, didn't it? I know. Now you want to turn that posture down. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Then you wanna turn it down, up, then you wanna. You can erase it if you want to. You can, you can race, 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 race. And then you can turn the velocity down. It didn't be good like that, because when you zoom out, it looks like that. It looks. And that looks sexy. That looks nice. So when you got that. No, oh, let's turn the plastic down a little bit more. Cause yo, you don't want to see it, but you do want to see it. See now, look how it looks so smooth. Now you write whatever you want right in here. You know, write whatever you want right in the box. And then if you want to create another box, I'm gonna show you how to create the best line ever. Let's make this line. Create a new layer. Make sure your foreground color is black. Make sure your brush is on one. Turn that up to 100. Now, let's make this straight line. Bow. Bow. Stroke path. Make sure it's on brush. Make sure that's not up. Boom. Enter. Duplicate this twice. One, two. Shift, click, right click, register layer. Duplicate. Now you want to change this. Just click on that. Change that to white. Change that to normal. Then that should turn white. Then you want to change this to one. Change that to zero. Change that to 100. When you do that, it should turn out like that. And when it turn out like that, that means and turn out like that. You go over to the eraser tool, make it a little smaller. Click that, that, that. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. I forgot. You gotta connect those two. Merge. Now, you go like that, 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 that. Then you go like that, that, that. Now you got your sexy straight line. Like that, but you could do anything with it because it looks sexy like that. See, you got a sexy line. Now, you want to add your little logo, whatever. I like to add mine right here on the corner, right there. So, yeah, guys, uh, this is the end of part one of the tutorial. I'll be going over, I'll be going over part two. Probably tomorrow or throughout the week. Whenever I get a chance. So if you got questions, leave a message, I mean a comment or whatever. Whatever you need to leave it. Yeah. Peace.